is your approach to addressing sex to your children? Love you. Oh. <laughs> It's Sona, I'm Obsession, and this is the return of Sona Fixes Your Life. And as you can tell, I'm very serious. I have books behind me. I've read every single one. That's a lie. And I have this thing next to me. What is this? It's a rocker. Why do I know that? Because I'm a parenting expert now. How am I a parenting expert? I have had children for four months, two of them. So obviously I'm an expert. So I'm happy to answer all the questions that you guys have about parenting. So let's raise your kids. At Euler277 says, what are your strategies for keeping Conan away from your children? Uh, just to A, never give him my address. B, you know, I told him I was pregnant, but I, uh, I think that if I just tell him that I was a pillow the whole time, maybe he'll never show up. best way is just to never tell them where I live because then they'll just come and want to meet them. At Amprobius says, what is your approach to addressing sex to your children? Love you. Oh, <laughs> that's intense. Sex. Sex. I don't know. Do I tell them now? Is four months too early to talk to them about sex? Because then you just like, they'll just always grow up knowing about it. So now I'll be like, when a man and a woman love each other very much, or you know what? No, now it's when a man and a man love each other, when a woman and a woman, when someone who's non-binary and someone else who's non-binary love each other very much, parts go into other parts, or sometimes things rub up on each other. I don't, I have no idea how I'm gonna talk to them about this stuff. I think I'm just gonna make my husband do it. I know how, things work, like the guy parts work, but I don't have an intimate knowledge of it because I don't have that. So I don't know. I, can, I think I'll just make Tack do it. I'll just make my husband do it. He'll just do that. He'll just do that talk. But I, when, what is your approach to addressing sex to your children? Make someone else do it. And I love you too, at Amprobius. At DJ SB says, do you have any Armenian parent tips, life hacks? Yes, hi, Em. That's cute. I'm high too, obviously. I knew what that meant. There have been a lot of uh, Armenian opinions floating around in this house. And when I say a lot, I mean like every day there's something. Uh, there's obviously like 500 evil eyes in my baby's nursery to protect them. Uh, we, you know, there's, there. one of them had like an umbilical hernia where his like, belly button stuck out a little. And so we taped a, a quarter to his belly button to flatten it. A quarter. It was wrapped up and we taped a quarter. And you know what? That shit worked. It worked. I mean, it's a little off-putting to tape anything to your newborn child, but it worked. At Yuki D. Nakamura says, not a parenting question, but is your dog still number one or did your kids take that spot? I don't know. Oki, who's my favorite? Who's my favorite, Oki? Who's my favorite, Oki? Who's my favorite? Who's my favorite? Who's my favorite? Let's just say I know where my dog is and I don't know where my boys are. Oh my God, she's so soft. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much.